All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Armbadas. And today we're going to get back into the Minuteman series. And so we're going to do medical today. And I brought Sippy into this one because... Do you I, need your earwax cleaned up? No. I, you better back off my earwax. I'm allowed to have it. And, and hair in my ears is allowed. Big chunk, man. I'm telling you, once you get older, you get ear hair. It happens. Why am I talking about ear hair? I don't know. Pull you, Derailed. Pull you over here. Derailed. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this is the Tactical iFact Fill Kit J. Okay. I'll have, if you're interested in this kit, it'll be in a drop down below. Okay, you just hit the drop down box and you'll be able to pull this up. Uh, I always put links in all my videos for all this weird stuff. But I picked this one up because I needed a kit for my Minuteman kit that I'm putting together for my other vehicle. And it's to show you kind of a lightweight um, kit that you can you can mm, get. It's very lightweight. Yeah, it's a decent little eye fact. We've shown you in Medical Minuteman video that we did a while back. Sippy showed you in that video how, you know, you can have, you know, put together these kits on your own. Uh, this is a kit that's ready made. So Sippy's just going to kind of go through it and tell me if I failed. Yeah, I have no idea what is in this thing. I've never seen it, looked at it, even breathed on it till now. <laughs> Just bust it open. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. All right. So it's always good to have a bag, right? Well, now it shows you what well, you're it's supposed to look like. When you're looking through this, it's got all this laid out in certain ways how it should look. And... I assumed it would be already put together, but it's it's not already put it together. It is not. But. So you will be charged for labor. Here, let me open that up. I'll probably be the one slapping all this stuff in. Mm -hmm. But there's your bag. Let's just take a look at the bag real quick. Oh, that's pretty cool. I really dig that. It's got this, so you just you do that number there. Huh. Well, isn't that something? <laughs> Anyways, there's all your slots. That's pretty neat. Slot for everything. But we'll get into that in just a minute. But you're going to... There's your connections so in the back. this is the Pac-Man med kit. Sweet. Rock and roll. All right. What so, we got? what's a med kit without an emergency uh, bandage? That's tourniquet. And it's kind of like an Israeli bandage. It looks like it. You got your little directions right here. Pretty simple, basic. You wrap the bandage, take the the little elastic V notch applicator, and just tighten it as much as you need to. So there you go. All right. Let's see what else. Triangle bandage. And it even comes with your two safety pins. Uh, we've covered how to do this little guy before. Yeah, you did a video in the medical videos. Medical videos for basically keeping your uh, joints immobilized if you got a sprain or a break. So, or if you need to carry a baby. There, there you, go. you go. Wow, this is intense. This is black Coflex. Ooh, I didn't, like... I'm Tactical man. Tactical black coflex is bananas. Kind of dark in my opinion. To me, it's ominous that death is approaching. <laughs> but that's okay. You're Props die. for tactical. <laughs> it's got to match your camis. Yep. Well, this is really awesome. I haven't seen this in too many kits that they give you a CPR face shield. That's cool. So it has the one way valve. So you place it over their face. And there's a little spigot that goes over their mouth, and you just blow. So it's a good barrier to keep from blood or vomit uh, spewing back into your face, which I've heard from people uh, when they were doing chest compressions. And then they went to go give them breaths. The person ended up vomiting in their mouth. Yeah. So that's why I always say, if I don't have my face shield, you are only getting chest compressions, foo. I am not doing mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. So that's really cool. 
And we got sterile alcohol prep pads for external use only. Apply topically as needed. Discharge after single use. Sterile solution. There you go. And then you got your providone iodine prep pads. The antiseptic germicide. External use only. Kids, don't chew these. <laughs> don't put them in your mouth. There we go. Yeah, hopefully the only thing that kind of stinks though is those things that tend to dry out so hopefully they're not yeah dried out uh that's another israeli bandage it's a small one I think. compressed crinkle gauze sterile use oh that's just only. gauze this is just um dehydrated gauze that's basically like like they said vacuum compressed, sealed vacuum and pressed. sealed yeah vacuum so sealed and there's probably a crap ton of gauze in here yeah. so there you go you got gauze it's always good to have gauze surgical sponges other types of different gauzes for different various types of wounds that you may get uh this is i hope they came with lubrication otherwise that's just wrong <laughs> this is a ng uh tube or your na your nasal airway um we did this on a podcast. Basically, what yeah, you, you showed the whole kit. You do. Let me see if they were nice and they gave you lube. Because if they didn't, that's just wrong. I can, I can throw it in there. I don't think so. All right. So, hopefully, you have some Vaseline or petroleum jelly, or I don't know if you have to just dip water, spit something because. <laughs> Sticking this rubber in your nose, that's going to be a very difficult task, and it's going to drag and lag. So, um, you can do this one if they're conscious or unconscious, and the bevel goes pointed into the to the nose. So, I'll stick my nose. So this bevel right here, I put the tip right towards that guy, right inside the septum. I think that's called. So. Uh, you'd have to measure it basically from like a, like chin to ear or nose to ear. Nose to ear. Yeah. Nose to ear. And we got a little part of crasher. But yes, if you can, if you're nice, put in some lubrication for that. So that's just good if um, somebody has like a damaged uh, trach or if they can't breathe it's crazy. Um, like broken teeth or something and their their mouth is just basically a big old mess uh, that's that would be good to use to get air into it and of course you'd have to have an ambu bag or I guess heck if you had to just blow down the hole so yeah. improvise uh, you got a hemostat gauze dressing uh, basically, it's just for bleeding control, uh, for minor cuts and minor lacerations, nothing too big. And this is just for, like I said, like it says right there, just to kind of help minor bleeding, nothing too crazy. You just slap it on the wound yes. and apply pressure. They're always handy to have. I've got a couple of them in, in my other kit. Mm-hmm. A combined pad, these uh, we also kind of call them like, well, they're not as thick as the abdominal pads, but these are good uh, when you have a blue line. And these usually go on top, like say you're packing your wound, you got in your, your sterile compressed, these would kind of more go inside your wound. And then after you do that, you take your uh, s uh, surgical sponge and you cover over the whole um, surface of the wound with that. And this is good for just another um, moisture catcher or just so you're not spewing blood everywhere. This would go usually on top of it. And they like to use these um, if it's like some type of, if it's, let's say they're leaking clear fluids from their body. This would be able to tell when this line disappears, you know it's saturated and completely wet. Because if you were to just look at it, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's full of water, liquid, or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is more for a, for the top part. I mean, you can still use it just to straight up cover a wound because it's a little bit thicker and longer. So 
these are nice to have and of course shears pretty standard yeah pretty standard trauma shears good to have and your nitro gloves black to go with your does it say what level your they coban are? these so are it large it says large and they usually have a level like what level of protection they are like if they would tear how thickness of them well these Sometimes look pretty thick these these wouldn't tear too too easily like some gloves i've handled but yeah i know some nitro gloves out there they're so thin they just oh, you yeah. barely you barely put them on it's like they start falling apart yeah it's like what's even the point yeah so they're the cheap super cheap ones but they're nitro though <laughs> yep so there you go your black gloves to go with your uh black coban <laughs> Um, and then just your little conforming stretch gauze. You just something wrap around a extremity, so finger, what have you, and just a regular tourniquet. This nice. one, it's not, it's not rubber. Uh, these are more the uh, industrial material that That's... you use. So it's kind of like oh, you know uh, cool. a belt. Yeah. You just does the job. Wrap it around the arm and just pull. I mean, it's these are really nice because, in and all honesty, connection to bring it around again if you needed to to hook it onto the mm -hmm. belt itself. If you're doing a, a rubber tourniquet and you haven't worked with them much as far as tying them, and you're dealing with blood on your gloves and everything, it's really slippery and can be really hard to get a good. Um, get a good tourniquet on yeah. so these are really nice to be able to just loop and pull so and this um this is a good size good width you don't go any thinner than that or smaller than this yeah thinner so there we go it's pretty good is that all of it pretty good trauma kit that's nice that's it so about the uh the thing i'd probably add to this is like some some uh uh, antibacterial cream or something like some petroleum jelly petroleum jelly or something and, um uh, i mean there's stuff for sunken chest wounds and things like that but you could use like some sort of plastic or whatever for you that. can use saran wrap and three strips of tape because yeah. you 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 put it on three sides there's no point in spending like an extra 10 15 dollars for something that you may never use or Unless you, you just like just, convenience. If you do, if you like the convenience, then there you go. It'll work. So <laughs> the kids are just dropping on in, aren't they? Yep. All right. That's, that's all right. I'll get good. this get this put together, and then uh, we'll show what it looks like. All right. So far, before I get too far into setting this up, what I've got now, the main components of this are here, and I threw in some quick clot, and I wanted you to be able to see I put that in there. And uh, I've got some other stuff, Neosporin, and I've got some blister relief pads I wanted to add to this. Sting relief, I'm just adding that in, and some iodine uh, to put in there. And this is calamine for poison oak or whatever bites. And then uh, that's your, uh, what was this called again? I can't remember the name of it again. Ammonia inhalant. Ammonia inhalant, there you go. That'll wake you up. And uh, some tweezers. Thank you uh, uh, for that. And Cuddle Buddy. Cuddle Buddy. He goes right here. You need something to snuggle with. i got to make sure I get all this stuff together. All right. Something that brings your stress level down. Less stress, less blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Non-aspirin. All right. That's it. All i got to do is hem it up. And put the cat in it. <laughs> there's, the, yeah. there's the actual Cuddle Buddy right there. There's my Cuddle Buddy. Yeah, I'm just going to... Get this thing zipped up. And I could have just put these guys down here. It's not like they're going to go anywhere. Just sitting them on the outside like that. I wanted to be able to get to everything, especially the trauma stuff, because you never know what you're going to need first. If it's something minor, then you're not going to be like rushing. But if it's something major, you want to be able to get to that first. Well... And uh, you forgot to tell them you shoved deep down in there. Cold pack's always good to have because yeah. chances are if you have somebody that's got trauma, they're probably uh, going to go into shock and a cold pack will help. That's, I don't think they laced that correctly. I have the feeling that they didn't lace that right. 
I'll relace it. <laughs> you can see it's supposed to be like another X. But I think if you pull this, it makes the other X. There you go. It just does not look right. It but didn't look right. It'll be all right. It, you don't even need that on there anyways, but uh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, find a patch now. I yeah, think you gotta a find a patch. Would look good on a there. nice little unicorn patch on there. Anyways, I think it's cool. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm digging that. I and like it. I think it's gonna look good on that kit once I get everything set up. You guys are gonna be able to see it all laid out. I think it's gonna be nice. Sweet. All right, you watch SOS? Stats so that's our badass. Super cool. <laughs> Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. God bless. Take it easy.